welcome to Fiber Lakes Garage, the home of random projects. We have lists, we have Jeeps, we have trucks, we have food. You name it, we got it. So help out the channel by just hitting that subscribe button. And if you like the video, go ahead and like it. And if you really like the video, like it and then tell a friend. But stay tuned, enjoy yourself. I'm gonna let you go because I got stuff to do. Hey, welcome back to the channel. And today I'm actually gonna show you something that's very simple. Uh, I did this with my Cub Scout den and it was fantastic because it annoyed the crap out of everybody, including the parents. So you can use this to annoy your parents, annoy your neighbors, annoy your friends, or in my case, annoy your children. So what we're gonna do today is build a horn, all right? Simple household products, right? We have a little plastic baggie. Uh, this one's got a little Ziploc. Don't need it, doesn't make a difference. You're gonna cut it up. All right, so you're gonna grab yourself some half inch PVC pipe. You're gonna cut it into little small sections. We're gonna get to the sizes here in a second. Also, you're gonna need a T. Now you got a one inch, you got a one inch, but you got a three quarter inch there. Now this, the three quarter inch there is only because you need a three quarter to half inch reducer, all right? Also, you're gonna need a one inch end cap plug. Whoop. And then you're gonna need a one inch to a half inch reducer as well, all right? And the plastic bag, and that's all you're gonna need to annoy the crap out of people. All right, so it's very, it's very simple. We're gonna do this in one take, because it's that easy. So basically, you're gonna take your T that you picked up, you're gonna take your uh, three quarter to half inch reducer. You're gonna stick it on top. You don't even have to glue any of this stuff. You can if you want. I'm not gonna do it because you don't need to. Stick that right on top. All right, so this is gonna be your mouthpiece. Now on this particular one, I did cut it to about a six inch piece. You can have as long as you want. You can have as short as you want. It doesn't make a difference. It's all about the size of your mouth. And I got some big mouth kids, so. I'm gonna use a, a six inch. So I'm gonna stick that in the top. Looks just like this. Now, if you take the one inch to half inch reducer. The so if you look deep down inside, there is a little lip right here, all right? You need to get rid of that lip because you need to have that half inch pipe actually go all the way through this. Now, if you look at this one right here, I ground all that down. Now you can use a file. All right, you can use a file. I just use a little die grinder. Just kind of, you just want to knock that off. It's PVC, it should come off really easy. So what you want to do is take your half inch. Now this, this pipe right here is actually gonna, if you get a smaller one, higher pitch. You're gonna get a longer one, lower pitch. It all depends on what you really want to do. This one right here is about 14 inches. It's just what I went with. So I'm gonna take my reducer that I've already hollowed out and I'm gonna stick it onto my half inch pipe. Now, as you can tell, it goes all the way through. So what I wanna do with that is take this and stick it into one end. Again, don't have to glue it, but it's okay. Oh, one other thing that's very important. Okay, when you cut your pipe, especially on this side, the end that you're actually gonna stick in, you need to have that as flat as possible. So what I did with this is actually I cut it and then I hit it on the bandsaw just to try to get it as, as flat as possible. It's not really that flat really, but uh, if I can get this flatter, it works even better. So we're gonna stick this guy in there. So we have our plug. Now this is a one inch plug and what you're gonna do with that is take your bag and I'm gonna go ahead and cut this just so I can have two pieces because because I'm gonna make two separate horns. There we go, get rid of that garbage. There we go, all right, so we got this one. You can use hefty, you can use whatever you want. What you're gonna do is take your plug, and you're gonna put it right over that plug. And what you wanna do is keep that as tight as possible because that is where you're gonna get their sound from. That's what's gonna start vibrating. So we're gonna stick this right inside. 
Now, that is nice and tight. Now, the object here is this pipe here. You're going to push that in slowly while blowing in it until it is almost touching that, that bag on the inside. See? It's just flowing right through. I'm not even close. Wow, that's loud. Okay, so quick and easy. If you bust the bag, pull it off, move it to another section, and boom, you're back good to go. Now imagine having nine little scouts with all with these running around your, well, in our case, the American Legion, blowing these things up. Really loud, and wow, does that hurt. Okay, so this is all using half inch pipe one inch uh, T, kind of make a really high pitch. Well, let's say you don't want a high pitch. You want a nice low, loud pitch. Okay, so let's supersize it a little bit. So I'm going to use this actual one inch pipe. So this one's actually, as you can tell, it's a lot longer. It is a total of 24 inches. So whole two foot. I got the same thing. I have a T. I have a reducer. All right, so that is a, this is a two inch T. Yep, yep, so I got a two inch T. I have a two inch all the way down to a three quarter uh, reducer. Now I also have another reducer here that goes to a three quarter to a half inch because my mouth isn't that big and I'm still using a little half inch, little tiny mouthpiece all right so same thing with this guy here yeah actually you might be able to see this one better as you can see i do not have a lip anywhere around there i just use the die grinder so i use the die grinder kind of knocked it off because i want to have this one inch pipe go straight through this so this is a two inch down to a one this is a two inch down to a one inch so same concept as before all right, I'm gonna stick this into the end. Bam. So I got this, I got my plug, I got my bag. And actually I'm gonna go in the corner so I can reuse the bag a little bit. All right, the tighter you get this, the louder it's gonna be. I'm gonna stick that right in there. All right, you're gonna prime this up just like you did the other one. All right, so as you heard, as I'm pushing it in, all my air stopped coming out. So now, now I should be ready. See, it's as simple as that. And that's all you need. You need some basic plumbing and a bag, and you can annoy the piss out of your neighbors. And if you really want to get it good, you use compressed air. Now, one thing I did do once before, I don't have it here tonight because it got so loud that it really hurt my ears. And basically you take your, your mouthpiece, toss it out of the way and you get yourself a bicycle pump, um, like a tire straight valve and stick it onto a compressed air and then shoot it through. It is so unbelievably loud. You got all these people that put all these like train horns on their trucks. They can do it with this too. Train horn costs hundreds of dollars. This, uh, maybe five bucks, if that. Most of the crap I had laying around the shop. So yeah, very simple, very easy. But get out there, figure out what you have, make something, annoy your kids with it, and really bring them in make them have some fun as well. So until next time, enjoy yourself. Make something out of nothing. And I'll catch you guys later because I got stuff to do.